Security Now Illustrated by AskMrWizard.com Illustrating concepts, mechanisms, and algorithms from the amazing Security Now podcast by Steve Gibson and Leo Laporte. This is Episode 8, DDoS Attacks. How Internet Villains Attack an Internet Connection to Deny Access from September 2005. This is Segment A on SIM Flood Attacks. To set the scene for this series on distributed denial-of-service attacks, let this image represent a simplified view of the worldwide Internet. From among the galaxy of routers and millions of interconnected computers, we've singled out three individual small LANs and a single server host for special attention. In the discussions to follow, all of the attacks will be directed at the server host in the foreground of this image. The attacks will originate from various locations across the Internet, but we will pay special attention to the three examples shown outside the main perimeter. Please keep in mind that these represent only a tiny fraction of the devices that could be participating in many of the attacks we will be describing. In in the old days, websites used to have their web servers brought down by people doing something called a SYN flood, S-Y-N. A a SYN packet is the first packet of a TCP connection. When a when a user's browser, for example, wants to connect to a web server, it'll send a SYN packet. The web server allocates some resources to get ready for this connection, sends back what's called a SYN ACK packet, which and then a, and then a final ACK packet is returned to the server. What that does is that verifies the communication path between these two endpoints, the the user's browser and the server, and it sort of establishes the communication. Well, if the browser or the uh, a an end user being malicious were to do nothing but send SYN packets just by themselves, the server would keep allocating all these resources, thinking that all these connections, like, wow, I've become really popular all of a sudden, as if all these users were wanting to connect to it. Well, what happened is that before long, that server would run out of resources. It would sort of it'd be like creating a memory leak. It would burn up all the memory that it had allocated for accepting connections. And then regular users who were actually trying to connect would send their own SYN packet, which would end up getting dropped or ignored because the server was all, thought that it was already too busy receiving real connections. So that was sort of the original denial of service attack against a web server. Just one guy sending SYN packets could have brought down and did bring down historically some major websites. The original audio only version of this podcast can be found on the Gibson Research Corporation site at grc.com slash security now. This clip illustrates some of the highlights from that show. This video clip comes from a large collection of related clips. All are indexed and easy to find at www.askmrwizard.com, along with related items, text articles, illustrations, and forums. Please visit us today. We appreciate your support. Thank you 